Hello there guys and welcome to a Crash Bash Productions video today and uh, I wanted to talk about a certain topic that I have a lot of knowledge about due to the fact that I've experienced it a hell of a lot during my lifetime and you know there's not many things that I can say that I've had throughout my entire life and I'd say this is very much one of those very few things that I have experienced which is anxiety. Now not many people uh, do know how it feels to have anxiety unless they've have, have had it before and for people that haven't had it it's a very weird thing because if you've always been confident or you've always done things without really being too worried about it you know then generally you're just like well I don't really see what the problem is. Now that's where it gets hard to explain what, how anxiety is very difficult to deal with because if you've never experienced it it's very hard to tell people what it's like and that's what I'm going to try and do today is to tell you guys that it's not as easy as it may sound to get over it as some people would put it so well anxiety essentially feels like what you're about to do could go wrong in so many ways and when you're really anxious about something you constantly think about all the ways that it could go wrong not all the good things you think about all the bad parts about it that could go wrong now the problem is sometimes you are so almost paralyzed by that fear of how much it could go wrong that eventually it you freak yourself out to the point where you just don't do it anymore you you psych yourself out so much that you just cannot do it and that's where like anxiety disorders come in and everything else it's very very hard to deal with because you are working against yourself to try and do things which makes it even harder it it is easier to do things that you really want to but if you have to do something that you don't want to and that could be potentially very scary to do like I don't know a, a good anxiety thing for me was that like to talk to people because although it's silly as it sounds you know people talk to each other all the time but people are very odd you know I never wanted to upset anyone because it was always one of my fears I didn't like making people feel sad or upset about something like if I said the wrong thing or you know something like that and it's very hard to try and get over because if you are so worried about upsetting someone you're not you're going to try and not talk to them to upset them or try your best not to upset them but if you do then your fears have come true and that's where it gets hard because although there are many scenarios where you wouldn't upset them you always think of the scenario where you will and that's what why it's hard to go back into it if you've done it before like if you've upset someone by saying something or you've been a bit of a douchebag at one point like you weren't meaning to but you were and then that's the thing you always take it you always overthink about it as well you know like you may thinking about a situation so let's say you're going out with friends later on or whatever and you think well what if they're not at the meeting point or what if I arrive too early or too late and then there's people there and all this and that and in the end you completely twist a generally normal thing into something that you would never experience in day to day life and would be in one in a million possibility and that's the thing you completely completely it just take it the wrong way and anxiety is very difficult because it's your own mind that you have to deal with as well and I'm kind of going back to the same things as well by talking about this but it's, it's quite difficult to explain how anxiety feels to one person and how it treats people as well because it will treat other people differently and everything else but I'm talking from my own personal experiences here 
as you would probably expect. And um, but yeah, for me, I found uh, people were very anxiety causing. Like I found it very hard to talk to people about anything or showing emotion around people. And I I've always been one to hide my emotions, always trying to find a way to get out of emotional things which is anything to do with people generally because people are a great cause of emotion whether it be a good one or a bad one now usually the you know the good ones are great because that's why they're a good emotion however they're an emotion and that's what i couldn't deal with before is the knowledge that it could go wrong and it if it does, then I've got to deal with that emotion, and I'm terrible at dealing with emotion, and that's the problem. So therefore, your anxiety essentially says, you know, something bad could happen, should you do it? Probably not, and then you start to get really worried about all these bad things that could happen, that probably won't happen, but you know, they could, and therefore you just suck yourself out that you won't, that you don't know how to deal with it, or whatever. And it's really, really difficult to deal with. But there are ways to deal with it. And generally it's trying to find the good parts about what you're doing. So there was one time I was going to see one of my girlfriends. I say one of, it's like I had multiple. No, like I I went to see my girlfriend. I don't have one now, but that's beside the point. And... I had to take the bus journey, right? And I am terrified of buses. I hate buses. Cannot stand them. Purely, mostly because of the fact that, you know, there's people on there. And you're going around. You, what if you go on the wrong stop and everything else like that? And I was absolutely shitting it. I couldn't... My anxiety was telling me not to do it so much. And I did do it in the end only because of one thing and that was because I pretty much said to myself look you can do it if you do it then you've got your girlfriend at the end of at the end of the line essentially waiting for you and you know you've got to do it for them and once I got that into my head I was fine I managed to do it it was still very nerve-wracking very much brought on the anxiety but I still managed to do it, which otherwise I wouldn't have been able to, because the anxiety essentially scares you away from doing what you want to do in life, and it's very hard to control, but if you can control it, oh, it's a good feeling, it really is, once you manage to conquer one of your fears, and that is pretty much how anxiety feels, it's, it's very hard to describe, and I probably fucked it up a lot in this video. It's it's a hard thing to talk about as well for most people. And I've suffered through it for many, many years. Many, many, many years. More than I care to admit, probably. And, you know, the people that go through anxiety, it's very difficult. And a lot of people don't understand it. So I hope that anyone that doesn't know about anxiety or has never experienced anxiety or wants to learn more about anxiety that this video has helped you in some sort of way to kind of know more about it and learn more about how it affects people and how it is you know so i hope you enjoyed this video sorry it's been a bit rambly bambly as always um but i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next video enjoy guys
game over.